Really? Whoa, I thought... Uh, they should have worded that better. I Okay, so I've been sitting here playing this, trying to figure out how to get these puzzles to work, but it, it, it didn't make any sense in any other way. Because uh, I thought you had to have a, a straight line across. You watched the end of the last episode. I cut it short because I thought that um, that I would need all of them to make a single line through. Like flower to flower, bunny to bunny. Um, Saka ball. I don't remember what else connected. But anyway, and then clock to clock at the end. I thought it had to be a straight line through. But it didn't make any sense in any other arrangements. So I was like, screw it. I'll just go to the end of the line and do clock clock and see what happens. And here we are. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I I think it was worded a little weird. I was confused. Anyways. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. So yeah, that's all I had to do was just connect them. But there doesn't have to be a line through. If you play this for yourself, remember, there doesn't have to be a line through all of them. Even though I thought that... Oh my... Whoa. This is weird. What'd we just do? <laughs> I'm so afraid. Alright. Let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hun. Okay. What's this? We couldn't mess with the last one. Wait a sec. No! No, no, no! I wanna go explore! Hopefully we get to go all the way down the line. I wanted to explore that whole area. Ugh. Well, I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. Okay. Oh, we can check them all. The boxes are a little off, like where you can click. It's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. So that one's still the same. So they still met. Him and uh, River. Joey. Joey and River. She still made paper rabbits. She's the same here as well. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Okay. Back to the infinite void to figure out what's going on here. What's going on around here? Okay. This isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory. Alright, I have a feeling. I have a feeling where the heartbreak's coming from. I know where it's coming from. Oh boy. Oh. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about what's going on, where this is going, about where this is going. Yeah, me either, Dr. Watts. We're starting to agree on things. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Good work, Rosaline. See, if we were playing as Rosaline, we already would have known that, and I wouldn't have gone up to the door. Yeah, I would have. My nook and cranny sense makes me go everywhere. Oh, boy. Yeah. Here we are. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Ah! 
Oh! Freeze him too. Oh! Well, wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Okay, so. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. So the reason I reacted so strongly to Rose or uh, to River disappearing was because I thought that like it was all falling down around him, and suddenly River wouldn't be there, and like he'd be on the moon, and then he'd be like, "Where's River?" And there'd be a dramatic scene, but it wasn't. Never mind. So I was like getting real heartbroken over something I thought was going to happen. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Okay, let's just change the movie they're seeing, huh? What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then! It's so cute. I'm really so sad to see him go. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait... Where's Neil? No, Neil! Neil, we've lost him. Now, let's take a quick look around. I saw there was a clicky click over there, so we'll go clicky click that in a second. Did you see it to the moon? How was it? Uh, it was a bit too pretense for me. I prefer my movies be a bit more, uh, je ne sais quoi. I picked the perfect voice for that guy. <laughs> I like the, uh, je ne sais quoi. Oh boy. What's going on here? To the moon, darling! Oh, Henry! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if any everything's changed anything's changed with John. Hello, baby. That's what I'm trying to say. Can I? Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. <laughs> so the movie she came up with to the moon was awful apparently <laughs> so where are we at? that didn't even show us on the timeline okay we're way up there again it's all the same I had to try igniting it somewhere else then this is ridiculous <gasps> Lily? Oh, we had to touch him to... He's... Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. He's having to go through her, like, just disappearing randomly. Ah. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Oh, it's a platypus. It's a stuffed toy platypus. Platypus. So she's throwing an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're welcome for that. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Should we go look in here? Just for a quick? Just for a quickie? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, honey. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh, damn it, Watch. You're gonna ruin everything. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! <laughs> That was terrible. 
But I, I digress. Uh, anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus? To swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn? Or perhaps just chillin' at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in the Wait, what, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, uh, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? What are you going to do, Watts? What are you going to do, Watts? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh, God. And, uh, did you know that its surface is a as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, he actually knows a lot more facts than I thought he would. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that! Nerd. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich, famous people Rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Good grief, Watts. Way to go over the top and probably ruin everything. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. A blink. Blink. Back. Report. Utter failure. <laughs> Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Hmm... What can be done? Boom boom... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her... But you can't afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can. Oh boy. Is this diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact. Did you know that NASA has excellent health care plans? It's true for both of you and your spouse. Yay! Free pony rides in space! a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon. Oh my god. This is awful. They're trying so hard. And none of it's gonna work. <laughs> Not a damn bit of it. River? Wait, is River gonna go to the moon? <laughs> Come on, Watts. Tag nab it. Glass, slippery, Johnny, John. <laughs> uh, these two doofuses. What the cucumber? Whew. You know what? This this just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for a job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't. Look, maybe maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. 
Had I known that we'd be in, it'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You shouldn't have seen the movie I constructed earlier. <laughs> what movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. And we'll see if their plan plays out in the next episode of Nook and Cranny Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me once again. It has been a very fun ride. This was a crazy episode where they run around trying to get him to go to the moon and trying to convince him that it's all great and wonderful in every moment of his life. Even in, like, marriage. And, and then, like, when they found out that she had some kind of, you know, ailment. And then, like, he, uh... uh yeah, wasn't sure how they were going to pay for procedures and stuff. Oh, man, some of it's just awful, but some of it's hilarious. And then she, he had to, like, experience her just, like, poofing out of thin air. Oh, God, I can't imagine. All right, anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode to see if this plan pans out. See you next time.